Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is a very exciting video because I have a back to school supplies shopping video for you guys. I forgot to vlog when I actually bought the supplies. So it's more of just a school supplies haul. Sadly, summer is coming to an end and school is about to start. So obviously my back to school content is officially started. So that is very exciting. I love back to school content. I don't necessarily love going back to school, but the content is fun. So yeah, today's video is going to be a school supplies haul. This year I'm going to be a freshman in high school which is a little bit scary to think about one more thing is that I am going to be doing a what's in my backpack video coming up so like these are just the supplies that I bought for school and then in my what's in my backpack video you'll see the backpack that I actually choose and kind of how I organized everything and also some extra things that I put in my bag so if you guys are interested in that make sure you subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you know whenever I post a new video speaking of my post notifications if you guys haven't already noticed this video is posted on a Thursday like normal, but it's at 3 p.m. PST. I did change my posting schedule for school so that whenever I post a video, I can be available to like make sure comments are turned on, to heart your comments, and everything like that. So instead of posting in the morning, I'm posting in the afternoon for now. Hopefully I'll be able to continue my two posts a week, but we'll have to see. So without further ado, let's just get started. I do want to say that all of these supplies are from Target, except for a couple of things which I'll I'll tell you guys if it's not so just expect whatever I'm holding up to be from Target unless I tell you otherwise but the first two things I got are two two inch binders my schedule this year is block schedule which means we have half our periods on Tuesdays and Thursdays and the other half on Wednesdays and Fridays and then Mondays we have all of our periods which is kind of confusing to explain but basically I just got two big binders so for the days that I have my even periods I can just put all those in this big binder and then the days that I have my odd periods I can put them in this binder for my binders, I got college ruled filler paper and then quad ruled, which is graph paper. I'm not sure if I'm going to use like loose leaf paper for math or if I'm going to use a notebook. So I got both so that I am prepared. I'm pretty sure I also have a locker this year, which is so exciting because last year because of COVID, they didn't give us one and we had to carry all of our stuff with us every day. And that was just like, it was so heavy. And also I didn't have like as much school supplies last year because we were like all online for most of the year and then the days we were in school we also used our computers so this is kind of exciting to me to actually be able to like show a lot of school supplies i got a pack of dividers this is an eight count and i figured that i don't really know what i'm gonna need to divide in my binders so i'll just use like half of these for each binder you know i also got the ones with pockets because then if you don't have like a hole puncher or the teacher doesn't hole punch papers you can still stick it in these pockets i also got a folder i usually prefer to have binders for my classes because it just helps me keep everything more organized. So I'm not usually the biggest folder person, but I do like to use folders for homework so that I don't have to take my binders home every day. So like if I just have worksheets or something, I'll just put them in here and then take the folder home. It's just much easier for me. And then I also got the one with like the pocket in the front so I can put things in there. By the way, for a lot of these things, I got the brand Five Star because it's literally the best brand. It's really high quality and I feel like anything that I get in five star is very long lasting. So if you're looking for like folders or notebooks, I would definitely recommend five star. Okay, so moving on to notebooks. This year, I believe I'm taking six classes. Five of them are like actual classes and one is PE. So I figured I'd get five spiral notebooks because I prefer to use spiral notebooks over composition, but I know some teachers want you to have a composition notebook. So I did get two composition notebooks just in case. I know for my cooking class, I used a composition one and then also English. So I figured I would get these this year just in case. Whenever I have to pick between college world and wide world, I always pick college world. I just like college world better. I feel like wide world is too big. I don't know who even uses wide world in the first place, but yeah, I just got these two. These are the Target brand notebooks because they were cheaper and they have like this flexible cover, which I really like. But then for spiral notebooks, I got four college world lined spiral notebooks. So I got 
got this purple one, this black one, this white one. And then I was at Office Depot the other day and I saw this like pink one with these flowers on it. And oh my God, you guys, I love it. So I decided to get this one too. This is not the brand Five Star. This one is like the Office Depot branded notebook. So it's the Stellar brand. These ones do work very well. I like these ones. This one does have 20 pages less than the Five Star ones, but I don't really care. I just thought it was adorable and I love it. And then for my fifth spiral notebook, I got a graph notebook because usually for math, at least recently, they've always asked for graph ones. And I'm pretty sure for geometry, you're gonna need a graph notebook. And geometry is the math course I'm taking this year. So yeah, I got this like pretty aqua blue color. It is the five star brand, but it does have graph pages instead of lined. I did invest in a planner this year. I think if you go watch my school supplies video from last year, I think I did also buy a planner, but I'm not for sure. My middle school did provide us with a planner. You had to pay like $5 at orientation, but they did give us one. And I haven't gone to my orientation at my high school yet. So I don't know if I'm gonna need this planner, but either way, I really like it. And I'll probably use it over one that the high school is gonna give me. And I'll tell you guys why I really like this. First of all, it's the five star brand, which means it's already a nice quality. It's white and it has the little pocket thing on the front. So once again, I can just put things in here if I needed to. I can also decorate it because it's just plain white. But the thing that really got me to buy this planner is that if you go to a normal like weekly page, it looks something like this. So I don't know if you guys can see, but the lines that kind of separate each of these boxes are dotted and not normally like a normal straight line so that it's a little bit more flexible for your subjects. So let's say you have more homework for math than you do English. You can have a bigger section for your math homework and a smaller section for your English, which I find is super helpful because I feel like some planners can be really like restricting on how big each subject's like section has to be and then you have to cram some stuff in certain subjects. And I just find that very annoying and I thought this was a really cool solution. And then I don't know if you guys can see, but they also do have check boxes. So you can just check things off when you finish it. So that is really what got me to buy this planner. And then it does also have these like tab things to help you switch from the months. Next up, I got these two jumbo stretchable book cover things. My middle school did like highly recommend us to get these textbook covers or get something to cover our textbooks because just for like protection reasons, I think. And so that you don't lose it. But they advised us to get these. And in seventh grade, I think I got one, but then it like ripped. So I took it off. And then eighth grade, I never had these and I was totally fine. So I'm not sure if my high school is gonna want us to have these. So I just got these two just in case. And obviously if I don't need them, my sister probably will cause she's going into middle school. So I can just hand these over to her, but I just got one in black and one in blue. I got a pack of index cards. These are my preferred way of studying. I'm okay with like using Quizlet and stuff, but I feel like when I hand write things on a set of like flashcards, it just helps me study things better. So I just got this pack of ruled white index cards. I got this mini cube of post-its. I usually just keep these in my backpack because these are actually more helpful than you would think. So like for English, if you need to annotate or you just need like a bookmark for a book, you easily have a mini one. It's very small. It's like the size of my palm and it has purple, pink, and orange. For my pencil case this year, I have this one. And if you guys watched my video, that was my stationery pal haul. I don't exactly remember which video that was in, but if you watched it, you know I got this pencil case from them and I'm gonna use it for this year's pencil case. You can buy a similar one off of Amazon, but mine looks like this. It has this little pocket in the front to stick whatever you need. And on this little patch, it says, be young, be unique. You are one in a million. And then it says special in the middle. I just thought that was a really cute message. On the back, it's like this kind of beige or like tan color and then a cream color on the front. When you unzip it, this is what the inside looks like. So this thing can expand pretty big. It expands like one or two more inches in depth. So you have a lot more room in there. I find that to be super helpful. So I'm really excited to use this pencil case. Once again, I got mine from Stationery Pal, but you could easily find this on Amazon. And now for the stuff that'll go in the pencil case. First, I'll start with pencils. I am definitely a fan of mechanical pencils more than normal ones. So for the school year, I usually just get a big set of these cheaper mechanical pencils because if you're like me, I lose these so easily, especially in like a middle school or high school environment. I don't know. I just find myself losing them. And they're also cheap enough where if someone needs to borrow one and they keep it, I don't really care because obviously they're not like super expensive and they work perfectly fine for anything. So I just got this pack. It's the BIC or B-I-C brand. And 
they're just these black ones and then they have like colored clip things on them and then every school I'm pretty sure recommends these number two like wooden pencils so I usually keep like one or two of these in my backpack just in case and so me and my sister are gonna split this pack she's gonna take some in her bag and I'll have a couple in mine I got a pack of pens usually I'd get the G2 I think is what they're called like gel pens and those work really well but they do smear so I decided I wanted some ballpoint pens and the only colors they really recommend are black red and blue so that's what I have I do have other colored pens just laying around that I can bring so yeah I got these they were like four dollars they're the Pentel ballpoint pen I got a small pack of highlighters I like these ones the like skinny ones with the little clear view I think these are super helpful I was gonna reuse mine from last year but a couple of them dried out so I got a new pack I got a two pack of sharpies because you actually never know when you're gonna need a pack of sharpies so me and my sister will just take one each in our pencil case and then lastly I got a pack of whiteout me and my sister are gonna be splitting this I'll probably just take one and she can take the rest but yeah so we just got this pack of whiteout and I think that is all that I have in my little school supplies haul once again I am going to be making a what's in my backpack coming up soon so you guys can see how I organize things what else I put in my bag and what backpack I'll actually be using this year my sister did also make a back to school supplies haul on her channel and it would mean a lot if you would go check it out and maybe even subscribe her channel and her video are going to be linked in the description down below if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you like subscribe and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post please remember I changed my posting schedule so I post every Monday and Thursday at 3 p.m. PST thank you guys so much for watching and get excited for more back to school content bye